Set that up real good. All right. Yo, what's up guys? Happy Wednesday. So everybody that commented down below on the YouTube channel or hit me up on Instagram, a lot of you guys want to see my stencil work. So today I'm going to show you guys a layer by layer stencil um, and how I start the process. So let's get to it. If you guys do follow the instructions on this video, show me what you guys have created or show me any of your guys' artwork and then I'll repost it on my Instagram and give you guys a shout out. So let's get it. All right, yo, what's up, guys? So, um, go on your guys' home computer, cell phone, whatever technology you guys have. Um, go ahead and hit that Google. That's Safari. Um, hit that Google. So, in this case, I'm going to look for the image that I want. So, I'm going to do, if you can't draw or anything, you want something quick and easy, you're going to go ahead and go to Patrick Star. That's the image I'm going to go for. I like a lot of memes. So, we're going to go hit Patrick Star, and we're going to see which one is super cool we're gonna go ahead and get that and you're gonna go ahead and print it out um, you can go to your home off the depot if you already have a printer at home so whatever works uh, and we're gonna print that out so let's do that Alright, so I forgot I have no grip tape. I'm out of stock, so I am going to my supplier to restock up real quick. Alright, now we're back. Alright, so to start on the layer by layer stencil, I printed out three and then uh, they're pretty big, so depending on how you want your uh, image, you can make it bigger. Just change the paper size, so it's up to you. You can make it smaller. Uh, so I made it an average size. You could just do the Patrick Star, but I'm going to add some dimensions on my um, grip tape. So I kind of want to cut out the square. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out the square. And then I have a little um, blade that you cut the grip tape with. Uh, you could use an exacto knife, different ones, just be very careful, these are sharp, so let's get to it. Alright, so now that you cut the square off, nice and perfect, if you want it to be even more crisp, you could even use the ruler, but it's fine like this. Now I have layer 1, now layer 2, I'm going to go ahead and cut Patrick's star, so everything around him, I'm going to cut out. Alright, so now that layer 2 is cut out, layer 1 goes first, layer 2 goes right over it, and the papers are all even, so the next one we're going to do is the detail work, which is like the eyeballs, the mouth, um, if you want to do extra, you could definitely do the little circles, but I'm going to use a marker, it just make it, it makes it more easier on like details like Patrick's, which is not that complex, so um, you have to save you some time. So let's go ahead and do the eyeballs and we should be good. Alright, now that everything's cut out, so I have all the layers, so we're going to go with layer 1, which is a square. And then from there, we have layer 2, which is a shadow, which is going to be all pink. And then just the smaller details, the eyeballs, and then his mouth and eyebrows are next after that. And then like I said, for the detail work, like the line work and all the little polka dots, um, instead of cutting it out and making it harder for yourself, I just use like markers so I could just do the touch-ups myself and save me some time. And we should put it all together now. Alright, so I'm going to go get me a grip tape that I picked up earlier. True Grip. Love this grip. It has purified holes and it's super sturdy, so it's pretty dope. Alright, so I got my grip tape, got my station ready. So I have a pink, oh, pink. And then I have a white, and then I have my painter's tape, and then my mask, as always. And then I have all my layers in there. So the first one I'm going to do is layer one. I'm going to do a white, and then I'm going to put the painter's tape over it. And we should begin. It's kind of windy, so I'm going to try my best. Alright, now that I have everything ready, it's kind of windy, so I can make sure you cover everything. 
and uh, just put some uh, spray cans or little rocks just to hold the paper so they don't fly away but close off everything no over sprays everything should be good I'm gonna let that dry and then after I let that dry I'm gonna put my second layer which is the pink one and we'll go from there all right so I put my second layer shout out to angry orchard not sponsored but uh, and it's going to hold it down for me because it's kind of windy. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the pink. And I'm going to go ahead and overspray that right now. Alright, now that I finished painting the pink part. Uh, that's the second layer. The third layer, you're going to go ahead and um, do the eyeballs back to white. And then we'll do the minor details afterwards. So now we just let that dry. Alright, now that you lined up your second one, line up your third layer, add that white. Let that dry off. Alright, so now that you added your white, now add your last layer, which is a little detail. So white is already covered, so you're not gonna you're not gonna overspray it or anything. So go ahead and add your black. After you've done that, we're going to go ahead and detail it, and you should be done. Alright, now that you've taken everything off, here's my grip tape. I already have my outlines for everything, so it's super easy to outline um, what I already have. And then you have your phone for reference anyway. And let's go ahead and clean this bad boy up. Alright, now we're going to add the little details. I have a reference image as well. Um, I have four markers, pink, purple, white, and black. Let's get it. So this is the outcome. Patrick Star meme grip. Super clean. I took all that white out sprays. Uh, I just did a light black can over it so it looks super clean and then I did a purple outline so it could look nice and crisp. So this is how I started. I did layer by layer so I started printing pictures and just doing layer by layer. You could go more detailed on the Patrick Star however you want to so I'm just showing you guys my process how I started from the beginning um, and there are different ways so I'm going to be showing you guys more crisp lines, what to use, uh, what paper uses way better because this is just regular paper that we use and it only lasts maybe like four or five grip tapes and then you got to make a new one so which is pointless so let me know what I should be doing next hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to like subscribe and till next time On a wrap. Yo, what's up, guys? Happy Thursday. I'm with my boy Misael. He's gonna help me out today. Riverside Hard Walk. Super hot. It's 102 degrees right now. But um, I'm gonna be selling my skateboards here and my girlfriend's candles. I have the whole setup. Skateboards, I have it all right here. I got the Naruto, Coco Puffs, Trick, Hello Kitty, Charizard. Demon Slayer, Gancito, a lot of cool ones. So we're pretty much just setting up right now. Everybody's setting up right now. It starts at 6, but everybody's just setting up. Which is really cool, so we'll see right now. Alright, so my boy Lost Souls is here. Another worker. Oh, wait, where is he at? He's right there. Hey! Where's the board at? Oh, there it is. Lost Souls. I'll put all his description in the bottom below. And then Mizo, he's still chilling. <laughs> Waiting for the girls. You got Area 90. Art. He's covering his face. I'm gonna put a big smiley face over your face. <laughs> he doesn't talk either. I'm gonna put those, uh, you know those criminal shows where it just shows like all deep? Super dope art. He's here. Okay. There's the man, the myth, the legend. Johnny! Johnny! <laughs> you can Johnny. Castro. Hey! Give me your dance move! Where's the dance move at? <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, there you go, there you go. Where's your dance move at? <laughs> Where's your dance move? <laughs> hey. It's popping right now, it's good. Got the whole squad up. We chilling. We chilling, it's popping. Honey, all our friendships.